Hello, my name is Cartor. Welcome to another video in English. Today I'm gonna show you how to make this half heart friendship bracelet. So I hope you like it and if you do, please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Maybe I'll make more videos in English. Okay, for the materials we need embroidery floss. For this black bracelet, you'll need two skeins of black thread and one skein of white thread for the base strings and the heart. And for this white bracelet, you'll need two skeins of white thread and one skein of black thread for the heart and the base strings. Remember, you are free to use whatever color combinations you like and also you can make the two bracelets the same color like for example white and the heart black that is just another idea so yeah let's start with the tutorial you will need three strings one meter length and one string one meter 25 centimeters you'll have four strings in total Now take the four strings together and fold them in half. Once you fold them in half, you'll notice that one string is larger than the others and with that string we'll make the loop. Make sure the larger string is facing you to start making the loop. I'm using my finger as a reference for the length of my loop so I'm gonna put some tape here and tape it on my desk take the larger string and start making forward backward knots and to do that you have to make a four shape over the other strings and pull up and then a P shape over the other strings and pull up and keep doing this a four and a P as many times as you want you can adjust the speed of this video in case it's too fast for you Once I reached my desired length, which is 2.5 centimeters, I'll start making the triangle. I fold the loop and tape it on my desk. As you can see here, all of my strings are even except for the string that I use for the loop, but it doesn't matter. Now I take my main color and tape it on the right side. As you can see, we have two sides and we'll start with the right side. I'm taking my main color under the base strings and I'll make a forward backward knot which is a four shape and then a P shape. Now we take the left side and make a backward forward knot which means a P shape like so and 
pull up and make sure both sides are together like so and then a four shape here I'm making sure both sides are together now we take out one string from each side and we'll have two strings in the middle since we're on the left side we'll make a backward forward knot which means a p shape and then a four shape take the next string and make a forward knot which means a four shape twice then take the other string and again make a forward knot which means the four shape twice take the right side and make a forward backward knot which means a four shape and then a p shape For the next row, I'm taking out one string from each side again. And now we have four strings in the middle. We start making a forward backward knot on the right side. Take the next string and make a backward knot, which means the P shape twice, like so. And on the next three following strings, make a backward knot as well. I don't know if four shape and P shape are actually an expression, but I don't know how to explain that. <laughs> So if you know a better expression to explain that, please let me know in the comments. Now we take the left side and make a backward forward knot. I'm taking out one string from each side, which are the last strings that I'm taking out. As you can see, all of our strings are separated and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 strings. And we'll start with the very first left string, making a backward forward knot. On the next 6 following strings, you'll make forward knots, which means a 4 shape twice on each string. I think I will make a more in-depth video on how to make the basic knots in English. So what do you guys think? Okay, here I'm making the first four shape and now the second one. I'm taking the next string, making the first four shape. And now the second four shape and pulling up the string i'm taking the next string making the first four shape and now the second one and now i'm taking the last string and making a forward backward knot i'll make a little explanation here we take the outer strings and on the right outer string we'll make a forward backward knot and on the left base string, we make a backward forward knot. For the middle strings, when you go from left to right, you make forward knots. And when you go from right to left, you make backward knots. I will make 27 rows in total, but you can make as many rows as you want. 
just make sure that the main color ends up on the left side. I will make a couple of rows in normal speed so you can understand better. Here I'm making the first P shape and pull up and then the second P shape and pull up. Take the next string and make the first P shape, pull up, the second P shape, pull up, take the next string, make the first P shape and pull up, and then the second P shape, pull up, take the next string, make the first P shape, pull up, the second P shape, pull up, Take the last string and make a backward forward knot, which means a P shape and then a four shape. For the next row, we'll start making a backward forward knot. And then on the next six strings, make forward knots, which means a four shape twice on each string. Keep making what I already taught you when you go from left to right and from right to left until you reach 27 rows or the rows that you want to make. I finished my 27 rows, so make sure your main color is on the left side to start reading the pattern. Start making two knots with the black string. Remember, since we're going from left to right, we make forward knots. Leave the black string up and take the color that you want your heart to be and tape it on your desk because you'll make a color switch. This new string goes under your base strings and take your third base string and make half forward knot which means the four shape ones. Take your black string to the right and finish your forward knot. Take the black string under your first base strings and leave it there for now. Make forward knots on the next three following strings. This means the four shape twice on each three strings. Mm -hmm. 
leave this white string up and take your black string to make a color switch and first make half forward knot take the white string to the right and finish your forward knot with the black string The white string goes under your base strings and make a forward backward knot on your last base string. For the next row, read the pattern from right to left. So make a forward backward knot with a black string and then a color switch. Take your white string under your base strings to make half backward knot on your next base string. Your black string goes to the left and finish your backward knot. Take your black string under your first base strings and keep making backward knots with the white string except for the last base string on these strings make a p shape twice which is a backward knot This white string goes under your last base string. Take the black string under the first base strings and make a backward forward knot. For the third row, make another backward forward knot. Leave the black string up, take your white string and make half forward knot the black string goes to the right and finish your forward knot take the black string under the first base strings and keep making forward knots with the white string For the last base string, make a forward backward knot. All of these knots will be white, so first start making a forward backward knot. On the next six base strings, make backward knots. This white string goes under your last base string and take the black string and make a backward forward knot. For this next row, make two knots in black 
and in the first bass string make a backward forward knot and on the next string make a forward knot leave this black string up take your white string under your first bass strings and make half forward knot Take the black string to the right and finish your forward knot with the white string. This black string goes under your first bass strings and keep making forward knots with the white string. On your last bass string, make a forward backward knot. Take these three strings out and make backward knots on these strings. But first, on this bass string, make a forward backward knot and then backward knots. Leave the white up, take your black string under your first bass strings and make half backward knot. The white string goes to the left and finish your backward knot with the black string. Take the white string under the first bass strings and finish your backward knot. Make a backward forward knot on the last string. For the next row, make 5 knots with the black string. Once you finish your five knots, take the white string under the first bass strings and make half forward knot. The black string goes to the right and finish your forward knot. The black string goes under the first bass strings. Then make another forward knot and lastly a forward backward knot. For the next row, make two knots with the white string and in the first base string make a forward backward knot and then a backward knot, then a color switch. Leave the white string up, take the black string under the first bass strings and make a half backward knot. Take the white string to the left and finish your backward knot. Take the white string under the first bass strings and keep making backward knots with the black string.
on the last bass string make a backward forward knot. Take out the right string and on these bass strings make forward knots with the black string. Take this black string under the last bass string and now with your white string make a forward backward knot. This white string goes under the first bass strings. Take the black string and keep making knots. On the right bass string make a forward backward knot. And basically repeat the first rows that I showed you before. As I did here, I will make 27 rows on here as well. So make the same rows you made before the heart. Here we're going from right to left, so I'm making backward knots. And remember when you go from left to right, make forward knots. I will make the 25 rows left and I'll be back to show you how to make the triangle end. But first I will show you what to do in case you run out of your main color. As you can see I ran out of my black string so I'm gonna tape the new skein under my base strings, make half forward knot and then this string goes to the right and finish my forward knot. Basically like a color switch but with the same color because I just ran out and this is the way to add the new string. And just keep making the knots as normal. Now that I made the same amount of rows that I made here, I'm going to show you how to make the triangle. Take two outer strings together and make a knot. You'll have two strings on each side. Take the black string under the second base string and make a backward forward knot and then forward knots on the next four bass strings. On the last two strings together, make a forward backward knot. Mm -hmm. 
then add one string to each side and you'll have three strings together on the left side and three strings together on your right side make a forward backward knot on the right strings and then a backward knot and then another backward knot then a backward forward knot add the last two strings to each side so you have only two sides now and make a backward forward knot and then a forward backward knot to join these two sides make a forward backward knot I will cut off the black string the same length as my base strings. We separate this in half and then in half again. and twist them to the left and now twist them to the right make a knot and cut off the excess Repeat this process on the left side. Cut off these strings on the back of the bracelet and if you want um, you can add some transparent nail polish or top coat. And we finished our first bracelet. Now I'm going to show you how to make the other half of the bracelet. Just like the first bracelet, you need three strings, a hundred centimeters, and one string, one meter and twenty-five centimeters. Repeat the same process that you've already made with the first bracelet. Fold the strings in half and make the loop. If you forgot the process, just go back to the start of the video. Once the loop is 2.5 centimeters, fold the loop. and make the triangle as i showed you before so if you forgot how to make it just go back to the video basically you have to make the triangle and the 27 rows and then i will show you how to make the heart Now that I finished the triangle, I will make the 27 rows and I'll be back. Make sure to make the same rows that you made on your first bracelet.
Now that I made the 27 rows and it's the same length as my first bracelet, I'm gonna show you how to make the heart. Again, make sure the lead string is on the left side and start making a backward forward knot on the left base string and then make a forward knot on the second base string. Then leave the string up, take the black string tape it on your desk the black string goes under your base strings and make half forward knot on your third base string take the white string to the right and finish your forward knot Take the white string to the left and make three more forward knots with the black string. Now we have to make a color switch, so take your white string under your base strings and make half forward knot with the white string. Take the black string to the right and finish your forward knot. Leave the black string on the left and make a forward backward knot on your last base string. For the second row, make a forward backward knot and then a color switch. Take the black string under your base strings and make a half backward knot. The white string goes to the left and finish your backward knot. Take the white string under the first base strings and keep making backward knots with the black string, except for the last base string. To be honest with you guys, I wasn't sure about making videos in English, but on my last video I received a lot of very nice comments from you guys, so I wanted to say thank you and that's why i'm making this video in english so i hope you like it now take your black string under the last base string and take the white string to make a backward forward knot For the next row, take your white string under your base strings and now with the black string, make a backward forward knot. Keep making forward knots except for the last base string. Take the black string under the base string and then your white string and make a forward backward knot. For the next row make another forward backward knot with this white string. Then make a color switch by taking the black string and making half backward knot
leave the white string on the left and finish your backward knot. Take the white string under the base strings and keep making backward knots with the black string. On your last base string, make a backward forward knot. For the next row, take out the two last base strings on your right and make forward knots with the black string. Make a color switch by taking the white string and making half forward knot. Then take your black string to the right and finish your forward knot. The black string goes under the last base string and make a forward backward knot. These three strings will be white, so make a forward backward knot and then two backward knots with the white string. Take the black string under the base strings and make a color switch by making half backward knot. Then take the white string to the left and finish your backward knot. Take the white string under the base strings and keep making backward knots. On your last base string, make a backward forward knot. Here I'm making sure both halves have the same length. I'm taking the first three base strings to make knots with a black string. On the first base string, make a backward forward knot. On the next two base strings, make forward knots. Now take your white string and make half forward knot. Take the black string to the right and finish your forward knot. Keep making forward knots on the next four base strings. For the next row, take out the two last base strings and make backward knots 
with a white string. Make a color switch with a black string by making half backward knot and taking the white string to the left and finish your backward knot. For the last base string make a backward forward knot. Finally, for the last row, make a backward forward knot, then a color switch with a white string, making half forward knot, taking the black string to the right, and finish your forward knot. The black string goes under the base strings and keep making forward knots with the white string. That's it, you finish the other half of the heart and now you keep making backward knots when you go from right to left and forward knots when you go from left to right, just as you did at the beginning of the bracelet. Finish with a triangle end as I just show you. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Bye!